Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project, you can download them from below link in the description. Now let's see how to create this parallax animation, create a new composition, here I will name it as slide, for this composition. I will set time duration to, 4 seconds. Perfect. Now let's add the media file to the timeline, you can scale your file if needed. Here I will scale my media file. Adjust the position. Perfect, let's pre-compose it, I will name it as media. Select move all attribute into new composition. Perfect. Now let's change it to 3D. Here we will create 4 to 5 duplicates of this media composition. For media composition. Select Rectangle Tool, except the last composition, we will create Mask, now create the mask as shown. Now for second media create slight bigger mask as shown. Now for third media, create slight bigger mask as shown. For fourth. Now let's again add the media composition. Change it to 3D, create mask as shown. Perfect. Now for mask. We need to adjust the mask feather value for all the above composition, set mask feather to, 150. Do the same for all compositions. Now select inverted for all the compositions. Perfect. Now let's create a new camera. Create a new null object. Change null to 3D. Now parent camera to null object, for null, press P to bring up position, at start, create keyframe for position. Now at end of the timeline, set Z position value to, 500. You can see the preview. Now here we will set the view to left. Here we will adjust the position for all the media composition as shown. Press P to bring up position, now position them one by one as shown. Perfect. Here you can see the blur effect. We will adjust that now, to do that, 
We need to adjust the scale for all the media composition, press S to bring up scale. Here we will adjust the scale in such a way that all the media compositions fits the screen. Reduce the scale value. Perfect. We will do it for all the compositions. Now you can see the preview. Here our media part is done. Now from project panel, let's add the particles media file to timeline, place it above media composition, for particles, let's change mode to screen. Change it to 3D. Now we will set opacity to 70%. Now let's create duplicate of particle. Let's change rotation to 180 degrees. Now again create duplicate. Here we will set X rotation to 180 degrees. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. Now in effects and preset, search for Gaussian Blur. Add it to the adjustment layer. For Gaussian Blur, set Blurriness to 10. Now select the Ellipse tool. For this adjustment layer, you need to create mask as shown. For this mask, select Invert. Now for mask, let's adjust mask feather value. Here I will set it to 400. Set mask expansion to minus 25. Place it below camera. Perfect. Now let's add the texture media file to the timeline. For texture, add the Gaussian blur effect. For Gaussian Blur, set Blurriness to 2. For Texture, we will set Opacity to 70%. Change it to 3D. Now slightly adjust the scale value. Now for Texture. Change mode to Add. Perfect. Now from Project Panel, add the Noise 1 media file to the timeline. For Noise, select the Ellipse tool. Now create Mask as shown. Select Inverted. Now for Mask. Let's adjust the mask feather and expansion value. Now for noise layer, let's set opacity to 50%. Here you can increase the scale value if needed. Change it to 3D. Perfect. Now let's add noise to media file to timeline. Here we will change mode to screen. For noise 1, set mode to screen. For noise 2, let's increase the scale value. Change it to 3D. Now for noise 2, we will create mask. Create it as shown. 
select inverted. Now for mask. Adjust the mask feather value. For noise layer, in effects and preset, search for tint. Add it to noise layer. Set amount of tint to 50%. We will add this tint to noise one layer also. Now let's create duplicate of noise two layer. Let's change orientation to 180. We will set opacity to 50%. and 30%. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now select the pen tool. Make sure fill option is set to none. Stroke option is set to solid color. Here we will set stroke width to 2. Now here we will create line shape, create it as shown, you can create this of your choice. Here you can see it. For this shape layer, we will set opacity to 25%. Now change mode to screen. Now let's create duplicate. Let's change it to 3D. Now change rotation to 180 degree. For this layer, you are free to adjust the line. Now let's again create duplicate. Adjust the line. You can see the preview. Now to have moving animation. For shape layer 1, press P to bring up position at start create keyframe for position. Now at end, change line position as shown. Do the same for shape layer 1 and 2. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset. Search for tritone. Add it to the adjustment layer. Here set the midtone color of your choice. Now set blend with original to 75%. Now in effects and preset. Search for curves. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now adjust the curves as shown. Perfect. Now in effects and preset, search for optics compensation. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now at start of the timer line, create keyframe for field of view. Select reverse lens distortion. Now at end of the timer line, set field of view to 20. Perfect. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. P 
Here our parallax animation is created, similarly you can create multiple slides. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, see you next week with another awesome tutorial.